One question I've been getting a lot lately is, what am I gonna do if I'm stuck at home here and I don't have any dumbbells? I don't have a medicine ball, I don't have a barbell. All these things that I use all the time at the gym and now my muscle's gonna wither away and I'm not gonna be able to stay strong. Well, not the case. So I wanna go over a few very, very simple and safe and reasonably priced ways to get creative and to use to be able to take the place of the dumbbells and the barbells and all the fun, good things that you might have typically at your fingertips at your gym, but might not have at home. First thing, here is a 50 pound bag of sand right in this carry-on size suitcase. So we've got that zipped up and We've got this here, so now I can do a sumo stance deadlift, just like that, okay? Excellent exercise for posterior hips and your, your glute strength, your adductor strength, your hamstrings, all that stuff, your core, your low back, really good. We could also do a suitcase carry. If you don't have a big long runway, that's fine do a stationary suitcase carry and march, okay? So there's an option. Now, how about just taking the place of five to 10 pound dumbbells? What could I use? Well, these bottles have a great little handle in them. So it's a comfortable handle point right there. And now I could do a split squat with a total of 14 pounds, seven pounds per hand, just like that. What about a, a medicine ball? I don't have a medicine ball. Well, this is pretty darn close. This is a nine pound, roughly a nine pound medicine ball right here. And I could do a squat with a press. I could do any number of medicine ball exercises that you would typically use. And it's roughly the same size and, and, and weight. So often when we program medicine ball exercises, it's gonna be with a four to 10 pound medicine ball. So there you go. Um, what about something heavier? If you wanted heavier dumbbells here like this, you wanted to do a, um, an RDL, okay? So these are 22 pounds per, and we're gonna have you take a bow and go back down. Now, not letting those jugs of water uh, come out in front, just like we always do our neutral grip RDL action. We're working on hamstrings, low back, and hips again in that exercise. You could do that, use that with any exercise that you would typically use dumbbells there. You could even go ahead and get yourself different sizes of bricks. Okay, this is great for grip strength. And you could work on something like this. You could work the, the low hand here and the high hand here. And it could be an offset farmer carry or farmer march just like this. Now your core is working, shoulders are working here, grip is working, great exercise. Now you can load up this bucket with these five to 15 pounds worth of, of bricks and work on right here, just a squat. So down and up, you could elevate yourself so that you're dropping down below that at that point. Um, with this exercise, you've got a nice, offset weight, you could work on reverse lunge, all that good stuff there. Okay, you could get yourself a bag of sand. This is about 35 pounds. You're gonna pop that right into the bucket here like this, and just get that corner down in there. Good, so now we're gonna go here. Let's just flatten this out a little bit. There we go, it'll sit right in, perfect. Now we've got 35 pounds of sand in that. Okay, so you could do anything here. Again, we've got essentially a nice exercise here you could do, one leg RDL. Tap that bucket down, come back up. You could go here, you could go hand it off. How about this? And back up and to there, okay? Have an open mind, guys. There's a lot we can do. This stuff here, 75 bucks, 
or less at Home Depot. Now you want something heavier, get one of these 13 gallon guys, okay? And you could work on different exercises, holding the jug of water in front, hold here, work on reverse lunges. Hold here and reverse lunge action there. So you get that alternating reverse lunge action and just now you've got kind of this really neat uh, resistance level of the water jostling around. A little bit of extra core work with that. And then maybe the most obvious of them all, I've got the bag of sand that was in here. I popped that right into my backpack here. Okay, and now I'm gonna saddle up 35 pound. I just made myself a nice little weight vest. I could go up and down my stairs with this. I could work on a goblet squat here, holding a dumbbell or now it's a water jug. Goblet squat right there. You could add a press to that. All this kind of stuff, guys. There's something about <clears throat> being in a position where you have to find a solution or get creative. Now, it, obviously, all this stuff, we want to do it in a safe way. Let's not get carried away and make things up, MacGyver things and contraptions and things like that that put you at danger to do exercise. You want to be safe. These are all really safe, easy reasonably priced ways to not worry if you can't get yourself to a pair of dumbbells or to the heavy end of the dumbbells that you usually have access to and you only have fives and tens and fifteens at home. Look at all these solutions. So many things we can do guys. These types of scenarios force us to kind of get creative and to think outside the box and come up with something despite a tough situation. So I hope that helps and I hope that gives you some uh, level of uh, hope that this is going to be okay. <laughs> We're going to make it just because you can't get to your heavy, heavy dumbbells for a little bit. However long this is going to be, trust me, you're, you're going to find some new ways to keep your muscles strong and your muscles are not going to wither away if you can't get to the 30, 40, 50, 60, 75 pound dumbbells. There's many ways to get around that. And even if you couldn't, there's so many other ways like putting added holds into your exercises and, and slowing your reps down for more time under tension. There's, there's just many, many other ways. Somebody was asking, well, I need to get my bench press up. And there's a lot of ways to get a better bench press without doing bench press for a little while. So this isn't gonna be forever guys, but if nothing else, we sure did come up with some really cool ways to uh, outfit yourself and to have, have look around at what you have around you in, in your own surroundings and or grab quickly and reasonably priced. That could be some creative ways to stay strong, stay healthy, and, and do this together.